Hello. So how long have you been a farmer? Uh, since I was born really. It's kind of a home farm here in Bruce and dad kind of ran it. Um, so it's about two or three, learned to walk go down and attempt to drop silage and kind of root around and it's get older kind of actually do a bit and help out like clean sheds and put in bales and slurry and all that like it's kind of just not nothing that nothing to be done the farm that hasn't been done by at least one of the four of us you know where are we uh we're here at the minute and i call it granddad's it's just a farm home place like the whole relations i call it bruise but um it's just there's granny and granddad lived here and there's uh 10 children raising it and for a small house it kind of Ten children was a lot. Um so he started the farm grand that he would have had ducks and horses and geese and pigs and the whole shebang and kinda of dad kinda of part time farm now, so it was made into like a, a suckler farm, so we've only the the cattle and kinda of the horses and the geese and the whole like it throughout. Would you say that the farm is more of a home to you than anything? Yeah, um living at the farm just solely the farm, the area in general, like it doesn't matter where you end up, whether it be in Dublin full time with an accountancy firm or, you know, God knows, it could be Australia or fucking New Zealand. And it's especially with the football club and it's a great local community. Like, so it just will always be my home whether you end up there or not. I'd like to come back, to be fair, live, I don't know, particularly, I'd like to live in the mountain, but it's a dying breed. I'm the second youngest and I'm 19. So it doesn't say a lot about the youth of the area. Um, but look, if you can come back and live in the mountain and rear a few children and, you know, kind of, I'd like to see a revival as such of people living in this area, Cornfane, and kind of, you know, make it a home for others as well, because it's a lovely area of the country. Do you feel like college is distracting you from your farming life? Not, uh, I'd re rephrase that, that college doesn't distract me from the farm life, but the farm almost distracts you from college. Like I have an essay due now Monday and dad a big exam, choose to come by and it's kind of, it's nice to come back and not as much rewind because you're still doing work like, but it's nice to come back and kind of zone out from the college work and put it in the back hob and kind of let it simmer over there until you have to go back to it. Um, because it's just it's a good escape too. Is you you're no stressed or anything's going on, and you're studying and you're not getting anywhere, and it's getting frustrated. Just come down and pet a cow or something, and you know just kind of look at them and you know, calm you down a bit. Especially in the summertime, long evenings, you can just stand in the gate and look at the cows in the field, and it'll be real therapeutic almost.